Hi students, how are you? Okay, fine. Yes, friends. Today class, I teach class in subject of social. The lesson agriculture. Agriculture. The lesson name is agriculture. Yes, friends. Seventy percent of people in our country depend upon on the agriculture. The agriculture is the backbone of the our country. Seventy percent of people, especially in the rural area, rural area, people depend on the agriculture. In this class, we shall discuss about the what is the agriculture, why Indians importance to this occupation. Here is a poem written in Kannada. ಮೇಕಿಲ ಹಿಟ್ಟಿತು ಒಳತಲೆ ಕೂಡುವ ಉಳುವ ಯೋಗಿಯ ನೋಡಲ್ಲಿ ಫಲವನ್ನು ಬಯಸದೆ ಸೇವೆಯನ್ನು ಪೂಜೆಯ ಕರ್ಮವೆ ಕಿಹಪದ ಸಾಧನವು ಕಷ್ಟದೊಳು ಅನ್ನವ ದುಡಿಮನೆ ತ್ಯಾಗಿ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ನಿಯಮದ ಅಳವನೆ ಎಂಬುದು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪೋಯಮ್ ರಿಟನ್ ಬೈ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಕವಿ ಕುವೆಂಪು ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಉಳುವ ಯೋಗಿಯ ನೋಡಲ್ಲಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಪ್ಲೌಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ ಅನ್ನವ ದುಡಿಮನೆ ತ್ಯಾಗಿ the person who sacrifices himself and protects the food how been used can you guess who he is write your answer in the space your box the answer is farmer farmer this poem is composed by farmers who provide food for us farmers provide food for us farmers provide food for us the farmers provide food for us so farmers are called agriculturists the farmers are called agriculturists farmers provide food for us the farmers provide food for us so farmers are called agriculturists agriculturists engage themselves in agriculture and related activities to lead their life agriculture people dependent upon agriculture related activities come let us know certain information about the agriculture and agriculturists yes friends after this chapter we understand some points the first one we understand the various stages of agriculture and from where we get the food that term and next we understand the nature of work and the problems of the farm laborers small scale laborers and large scale farmers and give solutions we understand the organic farming and chemical farming and definite it and we know about the rain fed agriculture and land and irrigated agriculture land we understand the drip irrigation and spray irrigation and make a list of crops grown in both methods to collect information about the incentive intensive farming system mixture farming and horticulture farming we recognize the modern and traditional methods systems of seeds storage dear friends you remember we have observed the people who are working in the farms and fields remember the work they do they make a list of them next crops growing in districts of karnataka have been given here in your textbook you read in every district which crops grow the importance crops which districts growing the important crops for example i tell you serial number first district for example b the important crops for example red crop wheat johar sugar cane otherwise kalburgi the important crops red crop wheat johar parallel millet cotton etc this like you read the 30 districts which crops grow their districts make a list of the main crops of your district yes 
same sir in our textbook we took the first list of the main food crops of our district we have listed out the main crops of our district now not to some common steps are followed to grow crops we, we grow the food crops we have followed some common steps look at the pictures uh, given below in your textbook read the statements given in front of the pictures the pictures and the statements do not match with each other match the picture with the correct statements in drawing a line the first one plowing the land to grow crops the farmer first steps the farmer first step plowing the land to grow crops next step farmer do sowing the seeds to grow crops third step protecting the crops from animals birds insects and diseases and the fourth step the farmer do using the chemicals and organic fertilizers for proper growth of growth of the food crops next fifth method the farmer do irrigation for the proper growth of the crops next last step the farmer do harvesting the crop either manual or with the help of the machines yes friends dear friends crops means what is the crops crops means plants grown on the agriculture field are called plants this is the field crops means plants grown on the agricultural field are called crops the farmers working in the fields are of the three categories in our indian farmers have three categories first one farm laborers second one small scale farmers third one large scale farmers we shall, we shall stop this class we shall continue next class thank you students